keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into a black hole. Jordan Schmidt asked, I'd like to see more elaboration on black holes. I've always been fascinated by that topic. What, an endless void through which nothing can escape, not even light, punching a hole through the fabric of space-time itself? I mean, <laughs> come on. What's fascinating about that? Black holes are interesting because they remind us of just how limited our perception is of the universe. I mean, gravity is so extreme it eats light? And where does it all go? It's devouring stars. All that matter has to go somewhere. I mean, some people think that the black hole punches a hole through our universe into another universe, creating a big bang in an entire universe unto itself. Some people think maybe that's where our universe came from. Think about every black hole creating its own universe, inside of which are other black holes, inside of which are its own universes. It just creates this infinite Mandelbrot set of universes that... There's far too much to discuss about black holes that could fit into one video, so I'm just going to discuss the one element of black holes that really fascinates me, and that's the way it messes with time. See, the extreme forces around a black hole don't just eat light, it also eats time. <laughs> this was one of the major plot points in the movie Interstellar starring Matthew McConaughey, where they landed on a planet in which it was close enough to a black hole so that every hour on that planet equaled seven years on Earth. One of the coolest facts that I've heard about black holes is that if you were to fall into a black hole, as your body was being spaghettified into a string of atoms, the last thing you would see if you looked out would be the entire future of the universe playing out before you. Galaxies colliding, stars blinking in and out of existence until everything just dissolves away in its utter blackness. Because around the event horizon of a black hole, the time dilation is so extreme that every second you experience equals billions of years to the rest of the universe. So in a very real sense, black holes kind of exist outside the dimension of time. <laughs> Even cooler, we're making black holes right here on Earth. Yeah, one side effect of the extreme uh, forces that they're creating when they're smashing atoms at the Large Hadron Collider in Europe is that they're actually creating tiny atom-sized black holes. They're not going to eat up the world or anything. They evaporate almost immediately. But this quality of black holes, of them existing outside of time, has some speculating that if we were able to create these tiny little microscopic black holes, maybe time travel could actually be possible. But how would that work? In a minute, I'll do a little thought experiment to go through some of the various theories involved around black hole-based time travel. But first, we need to talk about what time is and how it, in physics, can go in either direction should you have the right Joe. power source. Oh, hey, Joe. Ah! Ah! What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? How did you? What's happening? Where did you come from? I just went into the bathroom for the time travel gag. What, the one in the video? Yeah, the one where I pretend there's a black hole in the bathroom and I go back in time five minutes? Dude, that was a joke. And not even a good one. Yeah, I didn't care for it much either. What, are you saying there's actually a black hole in the bathroom? Well, maybe it's in the toilet. Why didn't I have for breakfast? So, you're really me from five minutes ago? Prove it. Tell me something only I'd know. Well, you did say Matthew McConaughey. Okay, that's a little overcritical, and yeah, you're me. Is that really what I look like when I'm sitting? Well, is the posture bad? It's bad. Well, the standing isn't much better. Really? I, I feel like I'm standing perfectly straight right know, now. Why, why can't I ever sit up straight? It's, what is with my back? No, wait, hold on. We gotta figure this out. There can't be two of us. Well, apparently there can. No, I mean, there can't be, like, two of us walking around, living life. Why not? I mean, I'm always complaining about how I never have time to work on, on stuff because I'm always at work. I mean, maybe one of us is the one that goes to the job and the other one stays here and, and works on the fun stuff. Call it! No, that, that, none of this works. We would still have to eat. That would add up after a while. Besides, how would we keep this from Amy? Hey, maybe we could talk her into a little mm hmm Oh, sure. Let's double her disappointment. Actually, none of that's gonna happen. Why not? Because you're gonna go to the bathroom. I don't think so. It was just a gag. I'm especially not gonna go in there now that I know what happens. Uh, you have to. No, I don't. Uh, yes, you do. And in fact, I know it's gonna happen. Why? Because if you didn't, I wouldn't be here. 
The only reason I'm here is because you go into that bathroom and you go back in time five minutes. You know what? No. No, I don't think so. This is my timeline, okay? This is where I belong. You popped into my timeline. Why should I be the one that goes? Because that would create a paradox, and then I would cease to exist. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't just blink out of existence. I just blinked into existence, didn't I? And that would be the best case scenario. Worst case would be we'd tear apart the very fabric of space-time itself. We could destroy reality. Okay, but what happens to me? I, I go in there, and then what? what that we become the same person again or something? Well, I assume you'll just go back in time to the timeline five minutes ago like I did. And cease to exist in this one. <laughs> what, you were surprised. You didn't expect me to be here. If I went back in time, I would remember this, but you were surprised. Maybe when you go back in time, you lose all the memory of the time that you just passed. Or maybe I go into a completely different third timeline because this has already happened before. Maybe there are infinite parallel timelines that you could bounce from one to the other. Or maybe I'll just cease to exist because there can only be one of us without destroying reality. Holy shit, I've actually got to go in there, don't I? This was one of the major plot points of the movie Interstellar that starred Matthew McConaughey. It, it, I'm screwing myself up saying McConaughey.